my computer's working again. I can draw, I can make videos. I haven't been gone that long, right? Oh. Oh no. So I've been playing video games ever since probably as far back as I can remember with little kid games like Pajama Sam, Spy Fox, and Putt Putt. Wish I still had them. Fox's devilishly charming side eye, Pajama Sam's confident and protective smile, the color purple. What? If it wasn't that, then it was playing on a Game Boy Color, playing Pokemon Crystal, or even on an early PlayStation 2 playing freaking Need for Speed. If you were to ask me if I were to prefer PlayStation or Nintendo, I wouldn't be able to tell you since I've never been able to decide myself. What I can say though, is that I fucking hate Xbox. This wasn't always the case back then considering I had no reason to hate on it during such a young time in my life where I was just happy anything was in my fucking home. But ever since the PS3 and the 360 existed, I've never been a fan of Xbox since then. I played it because my older brother for a long time preferred it over PlayStation, but all in all, I have a large dislike for it. Some of it is from what the console does and shows itself to be, and others is from Microsoft themselves. So as Philip DeFranco says let's just jump into it i think it's pretty much agreed that xbox is for anyone that likes to play online anyone that's super into shooting games and have heavy competition mainly through online <laughs> lean more towards xbox that in itself isn't necessarily a bad thing but just use a freaking pc pc gaming well i rather not because Really, what am I? The fucking given tree just dripping paper out my ass? No, 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 no. I can't go to PC. Not if I want to do it right. I ain't gonna be just a stump. <coughs> PC gaming is practically just the better version of an Xbox, considering that it fits for pretty much the exact audience. What, don't want to use a keyboard? Don't. Just use your fucking superior Xbox controllers. Oh, ho, ho. look where that's getting you in the market right now. You can get smoother frame rates or general display, you can make things run faster, 4K still exists, hell you can mod the living hell out of most things, and if you really wanted to, you could go inside files of games. Also, STEAM you fucking pleb sand bitches. Hell I wish I could get my shit together to get on PC gaming, cause I would love to have a Steam account and get games there cause it's fucking legit. Even after all this, what could you say? I buy controls for the exclusives. <laughs> well, let's run down some Xbox exclusives, why don't we? Halo, Gears of War, Crackdown, Sunset Overdrive, the fucking Cartoon Fox thing, Killer, in Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct, a lot of fucking driving games. What else? There was that dope ass dragon game with the, 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 the dude with the Devil May Cry arm and the fucking Beats by Dre because he got that cash from my dripping tree asshole. But then it was cancelled! That was the big shot it had and then shit fell down so hard the Grand Canyon didn't even want to take responsibility for that shit. Anything else doesn't even really matter. Most of those are games that haven't been as good as they used to or forgotten games. Definitely didn't hear anything crazy about that Gears of War game that came out earlier. And up until recently with their exclusives, everything they have was based around heavy gun action and that's it. Both Sony and Nintendo are able to have a diverse and extensive line of exclusives. And Xbox only just started trying to reach different audiences. And it really hasn't done anything for them. All of this being said though, there shouldn't be any reason this is happening. Because when it's taken down to its core, we face Microsoft. When it comes to exclusivity, like I said before, Nintendo and PlayStation got that shit on lock. But Microsoft has always struggled. Kinda like how the Wii and the Wii U struggled with third party. How ironic. To me though, this really doesn't make sense considering it's fucking Microsoft. Very capable and creative people, or at the very least, should be able to make good connections with devs to have their better exclusives than a bunch of bullshit. Find some people that made some good selling Steam games. I'm sure they would be happy with a good budget to work on something else for a bigger audience. If that was the case, then maybe Xbox owners would have actually gotten Monster Hunter 2099. I don't know, I don't have the answer to everything. I just find it extremely odd that Microsoft has problems with these kinds of things, especially since for a good chunk of people, that's what sells consoles. That's a big factor in which system to buy. Maybe they just don't care enough because of the type of players that own it? I don't know. Dick Cheney made money off the Iraq. Alright, so, post E3, 
They showed off more Crackdown. I still wasn't wrong about that. That game has been in fucking hell forever, and it truly will not be worth the long ass wait that people have waited. The gameplay itself still doesn't look up to par with anything. It looks like a third party Wii game, seriously. New Gears of War game. Okay, cool. Like, I don't know what to think of this series anymore since I've been so disconnected with the series since 3. I thought having the son be a main character was cool. Having a female as the main character finally is pretty cool too. But like, I just don't really care for it. I don't get excited really. New Halo games, they showed off nothing. There's a new engine, cool, whatever. That's all they have. Microsoft purchased a bunch of companies, developers, whatever the fuck. At first I thought it was really cool, but then I heard somewhere that those developers like haven't done much or already work very closely with Microsoft. So it isn't that big of a deal. Hopefully I'll be wrong. Anyway. All in all, I just really don't like Microsoft consoles. There's nothing really significant or special that Xbox had that I wouldn't prefer to have on the other ones. I'm sure they could be much better than they are, but now more than ever it seems like they're just going dark. Yes, yeah, stuff gets released on it, but it's usually Xbox and PlayStation, so who cares? They released like three different versions of the Xbox that was mostly unnecessary considering you need a high-end TV to even have a noticeable difference. And the E3 they had 2017 where they were announced announcing shit back to back to back to back to back to back but when you really look at it a lot of that stuff was just launch exclusives meaning they would end up on ps4 and even possibly the switch at some point point. and again this year so it ends up being a tomb raider situation where we just have to wait longer to play a game better than buying a whole console what do i know but if i'm wrong or if you're 12 still going ham on like PUBG or some shit, yell at me in the comments. If you're a genuine human being, I'll most likely respond. But until next time, that's just my problem with Xbox. Fuck them.